Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be going over the pros and cons of running your amplifiers at half ohm. So uh, we'll jump right into it. One, uh, you wanna make sure your amplifier can possibly run at half ohm. There's amps out there that definitely do not like half ohm. And particularly when we're talking about subwoofer amplifiers, you would really never want to run a, this is a four channel amp, so this isn't a great example. We just had the amplifier out here because we're doing an amp um, video. But anyway, you wouldn't run a, a four channel amp at half or even one ohm most of the time, like 99% never. So anyway, let's pretend this is a JP23 version two because it's the same case size. Um, so one, if your amp is uh, able to do half ohm, you need to make sure of that. Like our amplifiers, the ones that have a half ohm warranty, I know you keep looking over here. So this amplifier at JP43 is definitely half ohm capable. It's, uh, this one's made in Korea. It's a tank. And uh, as the biggest thing is making sure you have the proper electrical. So what happens is when you wire your system lower than one ohm, it's going to put it takes a lot more for the amplifier to put that to create that power it's putting a lot more stress on the amplifier so the first thing it does is it puts a lot more stress on your electrical system which is going to be your batteries and your alternators so you're going to want to make sure you have proper electrical for that and so if you have like a jp23 version 2 you should already have some electrical upgrades done anyway, but uh, you want to like add an amplifier in the, uh, sorry, a battery in the back, like an LTO 6.0. You could probably get away with that, but the bigger the amplifier gets, the more of a demand it's going to uh, create for your electrical. So you really need to make sure that's the biggest thing. You need to make sure that you have the proper amount of electrical to support your amplifier going down to half ohm because some amps put out close to or even like double the power at half ohm so that's uh one of the pros that people see they're like oh i can get a cheaper amp but stress it out a lot and get it to put out more power so uh can it do it yes how long can it do it for that's um debatable <laughs> because some people like run their stuff at half ohm or whatever for years and never have an issue so, uh, a lot of times they have proper electrical and everything like that so they're able to get away with it but the problem is people I always tell people like it's easier to run at one ohm versus half ohm you're not stressing them out uh, as much nearly as much like it's when you go to half ohm you're putting double the stress on the amplifier so I always use this comparison of you walking or running or sprinting so if you're running your amplifier at one ohm it's like you going for a walk you can do that forever like more than likely and never have a problem not really get winded or anything like that so that's your amp running at one ohm when you drop your amp to half ohm that's like me telling you to go sprint as far as you can which even me being in decent shape i can't sprint that far it's it's a huge demand on my reserve energy like your battery bank is a huge demand on it and if you don't say you're not in great shape we'll compare that to not having a great uh, electrical you're not going to be able to uh that amp's not going to be able to perform uh, at half ohm for long at all because you just don't have the uh, reserve to like power it off of so it's not going to last long but if you do have a great electrical then you'll probably be able to like play it for a lot longer with no problem so but i always tell people like me and my tahoe i run my amps at one ohm because i don't need to if you get i think the most important thing is if you get the proper size of amplifier to match with your speakers or your subwoofers you don't have to put your amps under this crazy amount of stress for no reason. It's not, I just don't think it's worth the trade-off because even also with you running at half ohm or these lower ohm loads, with it working so hard, it makes it heat up a lot more and a lot faster because it's having to work really hard. It's just like you going for a sprint. You're going to overheat really fast. You're going to get out of breath. All those things, same thing with your amplifier. So I and a lot of the other big dogs like they'll run they'll get the proper size of amplifier running it run it at one ohm and never have overheating issues never have any of these like problems because their amplifiers are running 
at the ohm load that they were designed for, they're kind of running on easy street versus, well, I should be, I should say walking down easy street versus sprinting down a very steep hill. It's, it's very hard on the amplifiers when you go lower. So my two cents to sum all this up, I would recommend getting the proper size of amplifier uh, versus trying to get a smaller amplifier and wiring it really low to get the power that you need to try to save a couple of bucks. It's often not the best way to go about things taking the easy way in life. So uh, I'm going to end it with that. Get the proper size amplifier, run it at one ohm, and uh, make it where your amp doesn't have to work insanely hard. Anyway, that's going to sum up this video. If you need anything, hit us up, downforsoundshop.com, your number one source for all of your car audio needs, especially Down For Sound products. We'll see you in the next one. Later. What's happening, guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, under the Life of Price, and also Down For Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.